Hello and welcome to another edition of Market Briefing. I'm Martin Backerdax, European Business Editor here at the IB Times UK. Well, we're looking at a modest decline for stocks around the region today. Not a whole lot of narrative driving it, as you might imagine. We have a President's Day holiday in the United States today, and that has markets a little bit thin. What we're seeing is they're backing off for the most part in Europe and indeed here in Britain, FTSE 100 dropping just a few points. But again, nothing really significant driving it. What's more interesting, of course, is the currency markets, and they're in free fall again today. And this, of course, after the weekend uh, G20 summit of finance ministers in Moscow, they released a communique which didn't really put an end to this whole concept of currency wars. Effectively, what they said was that governments were allowed to put in their own domestic uh, fiscal policy, no surprise there, but that fiscal and monetary policy couldn't be used to start to target specific exchange rates in the foreign exchange markets. It doesn't really mean much if you're confused at all, and I think a lot of us are, and as a result, currencies are still falling today, particularly the yen, but also sterling. Sterling's at a seven-month low against the U.S. dollar, as a lot of investors bet that the Bank of England and, indeed, the government of David Cameron and George Osborne are going to have to execute even deeper stimulus in order to get it out of its moribund state. Now, that's an interesting backdrop against which the Prime Minister has to visit India this week on probably the largest trade delegation in British history. More than 100 companies are accompanying the Prime Minister to speak about business opportunities between the two economies. Of course, Britain has a goal of doubling its exports to the emerging markets over the next 10 years, and India is probably the perfect place with which to begin that very aggressive target. Elsewhere, one of the stocks we're watching today is Carlsberg out of Copenhagen. They missed their fourth quarter earnings expectations by quite some distance and actually have to pull back on an earlier pledge for profit operating profit target, I should say, of about 20% of sales. A large part of this, of course, is related to their acquisition of a Russian brewer a few years ago. And there's been an enormous amount of tax increases and a whole lot of other issues as well, which have stymied growth in Eastern Europe. They've had to pull back on that, and investors have pulled back on the shares. They fell around 7% at one point earlier this morning. Stabilized a bit, but nonetheless, that stock is going to be recalibrated by investors all over Europe. Check that out and other stories as well on the IB Time Economy page, and we'll see you tomorrow.